Hi everyone, my name is Jan Melisondra and by using limited colors in my palette, I am going to teach you on how to paint this wonderful painting and please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Okay, so before I'm going to start the tutorial, I am going to introduce to you first the materials that I'm going to use. So I still be using limited colors in my palette and I have here the titanium white, the tallow blue, the brilliant red, the medium yellow and the raw amber. So I'm using limited colors because I want you to learn to mix and get the desired colors you want. Okay. And these are my brushes. So I'll be just, uh, I'll be using only few brushes and I have here the number 12 um, nylon flat brush. Long handle, number eight nylon flat brush, short handle, uh, no, long handle, I'm sorry, number seven nylon flat brush, um, short handle. We have also have here the number three nylon flat brush, short handle. And zero liner brush for the details. Okay, so that's all. So, so I'll just use um, five brushes. And this is my canvas. It's um, eight by, uh, no, sorry, ten by twelve inches. It's a three cast of prime white acrylic and also gesso. I made it myself. And water to thin the paint. And water spray if we're gonna need to to wet our canvas and it will be easier for us to blend the colors okay that's it so I think I'm gonna start now and today I'm going to paint a portrait it will be semi expressionistic or impressionist impressionism style so it will be colorful I'm not sure what will come out here but uh, I, I think I'm gonna pay I'm going to paint a portrait of a beautiful lady um, she's facing in front of us and I'm not sure what will it will what will come out in this um, painting, so I just hope I'll do uh, I'll give justice on this. Okay, so that's it. So I think I'm gonna start by sketching first, and here I'll be using first this brush, which is the number um, eight nylon flat brush, and I have here the Raw umber. I'm gonna put some white to make it um, gradius for the sketching. You can use um, pencil, guys, but um, I actually like to use this paint. So, so this will be the face of the lady. So we need to do first the, the shape of the face. So that will be the shape. So make sure that the proportion is um, almost perfect. Like it's like uh, you're drawing an egg. And we're going to put a line here on the center. This we're going to put the eyes and the nose and the lips there and also another line on the center crossing down from top then we're gonna put the eyes here this will be we're gonna put the three eyes something like this there and of course the nose and the lips There you go. And the eyebrow. Okay. There. 
So that will be the first step. Okay, so we need to use some dark colors. We need to darken this part, which is the eyes. There. The eyebrow. The nose. And the lips there. Let's put uh, um, some shades there. Okay. And now let's try to add some yellowish tone on this, on the grayish, uh, on the raw umber with some red to make some uh, a little pinkish orange and some white. Let's add first the background um, underpainting. There. You can actually spray it with water to make it wet, then it will be easier for you to blend. So I'm using more red and yellow. It's gonna be a color colorful painting, that's why I'm using lots of these colors here. And also on the lips part here. I'll be using more yellow and rumber. There, so we have now some background tones or underpainting. There. So as you can see, you can now clearly see the the eyes, oh no, the, the face, the eyes, the nose, the lips. Um, not worry, that's just the underpainting or the background. Later we're gonna make that clear, okay? And I'll be using bigger brush. This is the number, oh, this is the number 12 flat brush. And I think we're gonna need to spray it with water. start adding some dark tones there there I think I'm gonna put some red I will just play and make it like an abstract background. Yellows, umbers to create some dark tones. Sorry. And I'm gonna need some more, some more raw umber. Also here, I need to cover everything with this dark color. Okay. 
Some blue. You can't put anything there. Like blue or other tones. Also some red. There, so you have now the background colors. Next, we're gonna put we're gonna put some details. I think it's almost right now, and we're gonna put some more details on the eyes. We're gonna use the darker tones using the raw umber. So we're gonna use the pure raw umber. And we're gonna do the eyes first. So I think here. And here, make sure it's um, perfectly aligned. I'm using the number seven flat brush. You can use smaller. Make sure it's perfectly aligned. Then we're gonna put the eyes. Okay. We'll just retouch that later. Don't worry, guys. And the eyebrow. Okay, I need to extend a little there. there. And I'll be using the raw umber with some red color because we're gonna paint the lips. So we're gonna do the lips here. Just create the curve from the top. These, these are the final yet. Maybe we have to retouch this later. Okay. There's a no initial look of your face. Okay, so little by little, we need to. We're gonna put some details on this. Uh, I think we're gonna do first on the nose. So I'll be using the raw umber and some red and, uh, and yellow there so we're gonna put some darker tones there
there. That's it, so you have now gonna see um, the look of her face. And we're gonna need some raw umber, and we're gonna shape the face, the chin. So, here, I think I'm gonna cut here a little. Darken this part. And also here. Okay, so you can now see clearly the how oh, the hair face. Okay, I think she's beautiful. Okay, so what we can what we'll do next? I'm going to make this part very yellowish highlights on the on this part of his face, and this part here will be bluish. I'm going to divide with the warm and cold color here so that will be my plan so this part will be um, um, on a yellow stone here so of course I'm gonna need more orange on that so first here we're gonna need red and uh, yellow there so I'm gonna need to put more yellow I am using the number 8 flat brush here So more yellow and white, I'm going to use more yellow and white, then I'm going to put a very high light here and also here on the center of the nose and of course here. That's it. I'll be mixing it in other colors with some more yellow and this side here, more yellow stones. Just uh, don't worry about the blendings, you can just make it a little abstract. There. and I'll be using some more darker tone here darker brown because I'm gonna put more darker here
And of course here in the nose line. I'm going to make it a little darker. And here. Okay. So it's very orange. I'm gonna use more yellow and let's add some more orange there. Okay, now I'll be using a smaller brush because that's way bigger. So I'll be using this um, number 7 flat brush and I'm going to use some white and raw umber. And let's add some white on the eyes. Sorry, that's small, so I just have to retouch that later. Okay, and I think it's time to use a smaller brush. I'll try to use this liner brush here. Zero liner brush. And another umber. I'll make the eyes brown. And also this one here. I'll increase the size and also the roundness. There. Okay. Okay, so on the left side no, I mean on the right side. I'm gonna put um, some bluish stone there. I'm gonna make that bluish. So, using the blue color with some white, we're gonna make this blue. There. I always love to play all the colors I have here. There. Okay. 
Okay. Then we're gonna use the blue, mix it with a little red to make it purple. And let's use that purple, but we need to add a little white in this. To blend some more here. You can spray it with water so that it will become a little wet. Here. So, just have to blend here. Even a little blending will do. But we need to blend more. There. As you can see, there are two lights here. Blue and the yellow light. I'm going to use more here and let's imp improve some let's blend here a little and now I'll be using smaller brushes and I'm gonna need some more blue and white Mix it with white and blue. And we're gonna put some colors on the eyes. There. I'm going to blend a little with blue color. So maybe I'll be using a smaller brush, which is the number 3 flat brush here. And I'll be using more umber with some white or some grayish here. And I'm gonna make this darker. I think I'm going to make the eyes a little bluish. So here, blue and red. And add some white. Now I'm going to retouch the nose. So I'll be using another light blue here. And I'm going to make it a little bigger.
Okay. And now we're gonna need to clean our brush. Then we're gonna use more yellow and then white. Then we're gonna need to add some highlights on the nose. Make it a little bigger and also this part here. I'm going to I think I'm gonna use the bigger brush now. The number seven flat brush short handle. Red and yellow. Okay. Some more white here. And we're going to use an orange, yellow, and red. And this side here is the reflection. There. Okay. And also some red, orange, red, and yellow. And let's make some highlights on the lips. And we're going to use more red. And of course, we're gonna put some highlights using the yellowish highlights here. There. I think I'm going to mix some red and purple and I'm going to make some purple and white more red and let's make this part um, some red violet I'm going to use more dark or umber So I'm gonna retouch the nose. Okay. 
I'm going to add a little shades here, darker. Darker shades. So let's add more dark here. Okay, so what do you think? <laughs> so what's next? So we're gonna put some hair. I'm gonna put some random hair there. Some red, blue and whatever. <laughs> so I'm gonna put some red. Just love to play this and yellow, of course. This part dark. She has a red hair. I'm gonna put more yellow here. More yellow accent. And of course more red. And I think I'm gonna mix for Or the there for the for the neck. So I'm gonna make this part dark.
and it's gonna put more blue color with some white it so I'm going to continue adding more red tones so I'm gonna use more yellow Some more yellow. There. I love the lights. Then we're going to use the small brush. We need to put lots of details there. So I'm going to use the yellow, mix it with the red and white. This will be a light yellow color. So I'm going to use some white. There. I'm going to put more details on the, on the hair. You can put it in any direction.
Okay. This is a very expressionistic painting guys I call it a realistic expression So to put more curves or curly hairs using this light yellow color. I'm gonna use some more white. That's it. It's very expressive, I like this painting. <laughs> okay, so we are now going to retouch. going to do some more retouch. So, I think gonna, I'll be using a bigger brush. It is the number 7 flat brush. And I'll be using this red here, the yellow, another oh blue, and the red. Adding some white. This part should be a little bluish in color. There. With some red. Then I'll be using this purple here to darken this part or this part the grayest. So let's shade a little. And here, I'm gonna make this darker. There, and I'm going to use the raw umber with some blue to make it darker, and it's darken this part
Okay. Wow, she's beautiful. Okay, now I'm going to add a little highlights. Bluish highlights on the on the eyes. So I think I am done guys. Wait, uh, I still need to put uh, more bluish hair. So I just use blue and blue, blue and white to make it light blue. And here. there okay that's it so i think i'm done so hopefully you enjoy guys this simple portrait but um, painting tutorial is very it's very so yell and it's very expressive impressionistic and not, i really don't know how to describe this style guys so i hope you enjoy and if you're painting me just follow what i'm doing i just um my advice to keep on practicing, keep on painting. The more you do, the more you have to surpass, the more you have to mix the colors. So I'm using the colors in the palette because I want you to learn how to mix and that is the colors you want. Okay, guys, um, just keep painting and just enjoy while you're doing this. I hope you you get something out of this. And thank you, guys. Thank you for watching. Please hit like, add some comments, subscribe for more videos in the future. Once again, thank you. Have a nice day and God bless you all. All the glory and honor always belongs to the Lord.